Now, what does this exactly mean? A close-up picture of the sun. Yes. But what mysteries can we unravel from this? Okay, so the biggest mystery is the fact that the sun gets hotter the further away you go from its surface. Okay. That's okay. completely counterintuitive. Yes. So as an example, um, say we have our mug of, of tea, which obviously is empty because I've just been throwing it around. <laughs> That's going to pour out about 90 degrees centigrade, give or take. If this were the sun, in this case, we would have at this point the, the temperature would be hotter than the lava inside the Earth itself. So mm -hmm. you go from 90 degrees to, you know, tens of thousands. In the case of the sun, it starts off 6,000 and it gets to a million Kelvin. And we just have no idea how that's possible. So we're going up close and personal and we're actually going to fly through that region and try to understand directly how it actually gets hotter the further away you go from How are we going to do that? Well, we launched a very expensive <laughs> probe. Uh, so the Parker Solar Probe has been on this plunging orbit, classic artist impression image, um, giant heat shield on the front to protect the spacecraft. It whips around the sun at um, record-breaking speeds, hundreds of thousands of kilometers per hour, and it took this image about a month ago and we wow. finally got it. Wow. Why I love this image is it's really ratty mm. and that's how you know it's real. Yeah. <laughs> this is a real scientific yeah. image. Um, there's a coronal streamer, so from the left is the sun. This blowtorch wow. essentially is firing through space. Um, you can even see structure within it. There's a bright object below and that's the planet Mercury. And then those dark um, uh, shadows are actually the uh, the, the repetition of Mercury in the frame that's been subtracted out and mm -hmm. imperfectly so. In other words, this is the real kind of image. This is what you use to try to understand these mysteries. That tells you something about the surface of the sun, does it? Yeah, so yeah. this is telling us what the, the, the coronal streamer, yeah. this is the thing that is, you know, hundreds of times hotter than the surface of the sun for reasons we still yeah. just don't know why. Mm, wow. Love it. And this it's just going to get better. That's what I love about that. Very cool. Well, changing tax, extreme heat to maybe a little bit of a surprise that a lot of scientists did find. Mm -hmm. A bone dry asteroid. Yes. Explain to me how they found water. Yeah. So this is the asteroid Bennu. Yep. Um, it is, it, it just looks like an absolute parched landscape. Here yep. it is. Um, absolutely strewn with boulders. Our first uh, images, close up images from the Osiris Rex mission, has found water bearing clay on this. Asteroid, and that's telling us that at one point it was part of a larger structure that might have had liquid water on, and that water has since been trapped uh, in this this asteroid. It basically is telling us that we picked the right target. <laughs> what we're doing with this is to take a sample from the surface, and that will give us our essentially a window into the past. This was formed at the same time as the Earth, and it's possibly these kind of asteroids that gave us the waters on Earth and, and yeah. we find mm -hmm. in our oceans. The challenge is. That, that sort of rotating graphic showed that it was, you know, we thought it would be nice and smooth because this little craft is going to mm. gently kiss the surface, take about 60 grams of material and fly off to Earth. The problem is in the actual image, the thing is a boulder strewn nightmare and we cannot get close. Like, I have yeah. no idea where this spacecraft is going to try to land. Mm. Um, so, yeah, it's very much surprisingly, boulders everywhere and it's going to be a really tough sample return mission in 2023. Yes. Yeah, and you've got an update on the inside lander? Yeah, this is incredible. So... The InSight lander, um, of which News Breakfast is is on board. Um, you actually got a ticket I signed you guys up. Oh. So I forgot to bring in. <laughs> it's going to be a lovely Christmas like, present. I'm not Thanks, there. Thanks very much. <laughs> what, what does that give us? Um, incredible air miles. You have no idea the amount of air miles we just got. <laughs> Maybe a few million. So this has a um, uh, solar panels that are collecting the, the sunlight. has a number of sensors that are supposed to detect the, the shaking of Mars as mm. asteroids crash and things like that. The one thing we weren't expecting was that those solar panels would act like ears, essentially just flapping in the breeze. Mm. And the seismometer on board InSight actually picked it up. And this we can throw to the actual sound of that, the first wind ever detected on an alien world. I've given the producers zero warning for this cut, <laughs> <laughs> this throwaway. Have we got that? Um, yeah. Taken. this headphones you got the headphones yeah so with headphones you can actually hear it that's oh. but that's the the baseline then we upped it two octaves to make it truly audible yes. so turn it up uh. mars you can hear that yeah. oh, wow. isn't that so cool Amazing. that was absolutely unexpected this is not what the mission was designed to do 
In fact, it was just because we hadn't put the seismometer off the spacecraft onto the ground. Mm. Yeah. We, it just took a couple of extra weeks to get that done. And in the meantime, a dust devil whipped through and set the, the lander vibrating. So and it was we got an our accident? Wind. Yeah, accidental discovery. Love it. Love it. Love what it. Is it, is. Is it um, does it cause any sort of threat to um, the, the other samples that it you want to get a hold of? Yeah, so actually it's a, it's a good reminder that yeah. um, we actually have a shield to go over the seismometer because when you're listening for the entire planet shaking due to an asteroid that yeah. perhaps mm -hmm. slammed on the other side of the, the planet to understand what its structure is made of, you do not want a wind blowing over. That's just going to cause you problems. So yeah, a lovely little reminder that uh, NASA does some good work. <laughs> As if we need it anymore. Yeah, well done.